racist Wilmington police officers James Gilmore, Jesse Moore II, and William Kevin Piner have been fired following racist rants captured on tape. The officers were caught openly discussing their hatred for blacks and desire for a race war. I obviously do not condone or celebrate the disgusting ideas that I'm about to read directly from this manuscript, and I'm only narrating this in the interest of awareness. YouTube, if you want to take this down and silence me and all the other black people that are struggling to make the reality of the situation apparent, you know, by all means, show us what side you're really on here. Reading from the meat of this manuscript towards the bottom, at 1 hour and 14 minutes into this video, Officer Piner received a phone call from Corporal Jesse Moore. A short time after the conversation began, Moore began telling Piner about an arrest that he had made at the work the day before. During that conversation, Moore refers to the female that he arrested as a Negro and a nigger on multiple occasions. He also described Magistrate Daniel, who is African American, as a fucking Negro magistrate. At one point, Moore states that she needed a bullet in her head right then and move on. Let's move the body out of the way and keep going. Piner responds, that's what I've been trying to tell you. Moore continued the story about the call, referring to the RSD as a bitch and crazy bitch several times. Moore explained how he called for Sergeant Tully to come to the call to assist him. Moore explained how he almost had to break the female's car window out because she was being uncooperative. Moore told Piner that Tully did not want Moore to do that, and Piner replied, He's a pussy. They're all pussies. Guy sounds stable as fuck, right? Later in the story, Moore was telling, a, telling Piner about taking the arrestee in front of Magistrate Daniel and how Moore was upset with Daniel about the process. Magistrate Daniel asked Moore if he considered pursuing involuntary commitment papers against the arrestee rather than the arrest uh, of, of the person due to the substance abuse issues. And this angered Moore. Moore said that he feels people who use substance abuse as a crutch. Moore said, referring to Magistrate Daniel, God has a special place for people like that. I hope they all burn in hell, man. Hate them. It's bad because not all black people are like that. Piner replies, most of them. Moore responds, 90% of them, Kevin. 90 fucking percent of them. A short time later, Moore explained that he thought Magistrate Daniel was a pussy because he suggested involuntary commitment papers on the arrestee. Piner responds, no, he's black. Uh-huh. Piner tells Moore later in the conversation that he feels a civil war is coming and that he is ready. Piner advised he is going to buy a new assault rifle in the next couple of weeks. A short time later, Officer Piner began to discuss society being close to martial law. And soon, quote, we are just going to go out and start slaughtering them fucking niggers. I can't wait. God, I can't wait. End quote. Moore responded that he would... Do that. He would not do that. Forgive me. Pfft. I'm surprised, honestly. Piner stated, I'm ready. Officer Piner then explained to Corporal Moore that he felt society needed a civil war to wipe them off the fucking map. That'll put them back four or five generations. Corporal Moore responded, you're crazy. And the recording was stopped a short time after that. It's a real miracle this shit even saw the light of day. But allow me to say something before I end this video. It's pretty incredible and almost fucking amusing how many needle dick fucking white men have tried to convince me that racism and prejudice are just like made up constructs and that they don't exist because their white ass has never experienced it. But as a black man talking to you right now, I can tell you plainly, not only do I not give a shit what your stupid ass thinks, but I don't have fucking time to convince ignorant, blind people that the sky is blue. And if you're listening to me, whether you're white, whether you're black, whether you're brown or yellow, male or female, they're coming for you too. You don't have time to waste trying to convince people that are just indoctrinated to the point that even with evidence, they're not going to believe where the fuck you coming from. You need to get ready 
Because as racist cop said, <laughs> he's very ready. Okay? It's simple. Police officers, aware that they were being recorded, openly hating and discussing the, the slaughter, <laughs> matter-of-factly, of Negroes as a way of venting their frustration. You know, they're gleefully fantasizing about a potential race war. This shit isn't fiction, okay? It's here. It's black and white. No pun intended. Verbatim. It was on tape, okay? This is from the mouth of a law enforcement officer. And it's not a unique one in a million case. It's everywhere. The FBI warned of supremacist infiltration of law enforcement over 10 years ago. And infiltration really is the wrong fucking word, considering the door is wide open for anybody that wants to become a police officer, regardless of their psychological stability, whether or not they even have a high school diploma. You are really not going to spend any time training before they throw that fucking gun at you, put you in a uniform, send your ass out on the street. Let me tell you something. Racists out here are going to focus on looters and rioters as much as they want. But it won't change what's right here, what's going on right here. And this right here is why the protests are happening at all. People's rights are not just being infringed upon by these subhuman uniform wearing dogs that disregard human rights because of a person's skin color, because of your gender. Maybe, maybe they're just having a bad day. Maybe they see you driving an expensive car and that makes them really insecure. Why can't that, that, that be them? How dare you make more money than them? So they come in at you, all right? School's not going to teach you about this. The media ignores, distorts, and shifts focus in an attempt to align you with whatever narrative seems to be hot right now. You got a president that's racist, as just as racist as these police officers, and sites like YouTube won't even allow a black man like me to speak freely, as is my right, because the site apparently is only for makeup tutorials, unboxing videos, and Jimmy fucking blackface Kimmel. So do me one favor. Keep your phone charged. Record everything. Because if there's one thing you can count on a cop's story to be, it's inconsistent with the truth. Not all cops. But Black Lives Matter.